Next we're going to show you how to set up your record for your Paramount DVR and NVRs. So by default out of the box these recorders are set up to constant record. That way you can go ahead and plug them in and walk away not worry about anything they are set up to record. One way to tell if they are recording uh, is by the color coded dots that appear up in the top right hand corner of each quad. So there's four different color schemes. Blue is your continuous record. Green is your manual record. Yellow is your motion record. And red is your sensor record. And sensor record is your hardwire alarm inputs or outputs. Okay. Um, to set up or toggle individual channels or set the global setting, you'd go into the start menu, go to settings, and then record. So like I said, by default, the mode is set to auto, and it's checked off to always 24-7 record, plus motion, plus sensor. So this is basically stating out of the box, it will continuously record. Now, if you did want to set up just um, record and sensor record, you can go ahead and check off this, and it opens up the windows for your camera parameters if you'd like to change those. Um, if you just wanted to always record and have motion record both, you'd check this option here. If you wanted motion record and sensor record, that's again sensor being your hardwire inputs outputs, that would be this box. Sensor record only and then your motion record. So again whenever you check one of these boxes it will automatically open up your camera parameters and you can go ahead and change the resolution, the frame rate, the bit rate, the quality. Um, in this screen as well. Once you make those changes you hit OK and the dot will go ahead and change. If I go ahead and apply this and I right click the mouse you'll see now that the blue dot is gone because the camera is only set to motion record and when there is an actual movement which I'll show you in just a second you'll see the little man that indicates a motion and the dot turn yellow. So if you hold one second I'll go ahead and give you an example of that. You now see that the dot turned yellow, turning on signifying motion record only with the little yellow man. It'll run for its duration of record as you see somebody else passing in the field of view. And then the motion man will go away and then the dot will disappear telling you that the motion is no longer triggered. Now in this uh, menu, again, start, settings, record. We, I, in the beginning I stated the auto mode. Now the auto mode is basically your global setting. So any changes or checks that you choose here is going to set it for all parameters on all cameras. If you were to change this mode to manual, you've now switched the cameras over to independent settings. And you'll notice that when it's in auto, over here the record schedule is grayed out, but when I switch it to manual, the record schedule highlights. So basically, because now it's independent, all channels are turned off for recording until you go ahead and set them. Again, it's independent. You'd go channel by channel. So your sensor record is if you're, again, using a hardwire alarm input output. Your motion record is if you want that camera to record only on motion. And then you have your time record schedule, which is your constant record. So if I want a camera one to be motion record, I go ahead and choose 24-7. You have your three options, 24-7, 24-5, and 24-2. 24-7 is your full week, 24-5 is your Monday through Friday, and 24-2 is your Saturday and Sunday record. Now, if I wanted camera one to be constant record and not motion, I'd go ahead and choose this one to 24-7. If I wanted camera three to only record on the weekends, I'd go ahead and choose 24-2. Now, if I wanted camera four to record both continuous and and motion detection, I'd turn my motion on to 24-7 and my motion on to 24-7 here. So this is stating that it'll both record continuous and motion and then within the encode parameters I can go ahead and set my constant record to a lower bit rate, a lower frame rate and then have my motion record at a higher bit rate, higher frame rate when there is a motion event that will occur and it'll jump up to the higher settings and then once the motion is done it'll jump down to the lower settings. That way you're not continuously recording at the higher frame rate when there is no motion wasting disk space. 
So again, when you choose the mode to be manual, all cameras cease recording until you come into the record schedule and set these schedules here. Okay, so again, if you walk away, you'll, you won't you will see any of the dots on the screen until you make the changes here independently for each camera and hit apply to save. Across the top, you have your edit schedules. So as I said before, you have your three options, 24-7, 24-5, and 24-2. If you did want to make changes and let's say 24-2 you had your weekends but you didn't need the full 24 hours, you can come here, hit the edit button and you can make it just so it records let's say from 12 to 12 instead of the full 24 hours on Saturday and Sunday. But by default it's automatically set for the full 24 hours for those days, whether it be 7 days, 5 days or 2 days a week. <clears throat> okay, Once you set your record schedules, like I said if you're using the manual mode, under the encode parameters, this is basically where you would come to set your individual resolutions, your frame rate, your bit rate type, whether it be variable or constant, your quality, and your max bit rate for each in particular camera. And you'll have two options up the top. Schedule, which is your constant record and event, which is your motion record. And they're both laid out the same exact way, it's just based on which camera is recording which way. So if you have it on motion only, you only have to set up the event record for that particular camera. If you have it on schedule record, you only have to set up the parameters for that camera. If you have it for both motion and continuous, you'd set up both. With the schedule record, the constant being your lower settings, and then your event record being your motion detection, being your higher settings. So again, when there isn't a motion, it records at lower settings, and when there's a motion, it'll jump up to the higher settings and then drop back down. Under your stream settings, this is basically where you toggle the substream. Now the substream really comes into play in two places. One at your main monitor, so anytime you're viewing a, in quad mode at your main monitor from the unit, the output of the unit, in the quad mode it's displaying the substream. So if you'd like to lower the substream or higher the substream, you can go ahead and set it here. The other place where the substream takes effect is on the web browser side. So when you first load the web browser page, by default it loads in the substream and then you can change it to the mainstream. Um, but the substream option is here for the customers that do have the lower bandwidth upload speed. So if they are running a lower bandwidth speed and they do have trouble streaming the mainstream, this is where they can come in, lower the settings of the substream to allow them to be able to stream it without issue. Yes, the quality of the picture may not be the best. It's always still recording in, uh, the, in the mainstream, but with the substream will help them um, view it and stream it over a low bandwidth network. Then you have your record status down here. After you're done setting your record, whether it be in the manual mode or the man, uh, manual mode or the auto mode, you can come down to record status, and it'll show you which cameras you have enabled, which cameras you have off, um, and then your record settings for each and every camera. So this is basically just an overview, so you can always come here. And as I said, everything is color coded. So when you come back to this main screen, you're always aware to t or always able to be able to tell what's going on by that dot in the right hand corner. So again I had chose motion here. If I go back to settings I go to record and I'm going to switch the record mode back to auto. I'm going to put it back to always. Hit OK. Hit apply to save. So when I come back out now my dot is in blue continuous record. So it's always giving you that visual so you can walk away and know for sure even if you forgot to check the record status of some sort that it's there. <clears throat> 